if you put four guys in a small room every day for a year to write music, eventually the truth is going to come out, and eventually the the representation of where we're at in our lives is going to end up in the music, in the lyrics, in the arrangements of the songs, in the feelings of the songs. Um, and that's what we did. We decided we're not going to write until we have 10 good songs. We're not going to write until we have 20 good songs. We're going to write for one year. That way we can let the truth come out and, and figure out how to be a band with a, a different guitar player. And, and in some ways, it happened um, in the first hour, but um, we still, we didn't want to cut ourselves short, you know. Let's just take our time and do this until we know who we are. And, um, and that's what we did. And oddly enough, some of the songs that ended up making it on the 14-song the disc happened in the, the, the genesis for those songs happened in the first couple of hours. And then one of the songs on the record was the final song written while we were actually in the recording studio and we had stopped writing. Flea came in and started playing this groove on piano and we all said, okay, whatever that is, let's put it on a record. And, um, but songs like Brendan's Death Song and Annie Wants a Baby and maybe even one other song were all written immediately upon looking at each other, or at least the, the beginning of it was. Um, so it was clearly there was a pre-existing connection with with us and Josh as a friend and the amount of respect and confidence that we had in him as a musician and as a person and as a songwriter and as just an artist the way he lives his life um, is very much a dedicated real artist um, he's, he's never you know done anything for the wrong reasons as a musician and it, you know are at our core, you know, we play music because we love it and because there's a, a, a friendship bond between all of us and all the other stuff is fun too, but um, we do it regardless of that, so. And Josh was on that page. Oh, which was a song at the end, that you did at the end? Even You Brutus, yep. He started banging that classic hip hop eighth note thing, but it sounded so good to us, we just wanted to finish it.